So before I went on a uh, before I went on my trip to Bangkok, right? I always like to research on like the places that I can go to, the food that I'll be able to find there, and mostly what are the kind of things that I'll be able to um, buy when I'm there myself. So I'll try to search for blog posts and even hauls on YouTube to see um, the most recent ones, especially so to give myself an idea of what I'll be able to find there. So I hope that this video will be able to help you guys who are planning to go on a shopping trip uh, to Bangkok and even if you're not planning to go to Bangkok anytime soon, I do hope that you guys will enjoy this video and we will get started soon because I have a lot to show you guys. The first pair I'm going to show you guys is my favourite piece out of the um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 pieces, uh, 6 pieces of glasses that I've got. So, these are the first ones and they are my favourite pair. They are the first pair that I've gotten. And uh, these are just black matte rimmings with a purpley kind of gradient tint downwards. And um, it is very oversized. I like the very, I like the matte details on it. And I just feel that uh, it, it frames my face pretty nicely. So the oversized factor right, in a pair of glasses is something that I really really look out for when I'm trying to find sunnies like that. So this is a very good find. Um, it wasn't exactly cheap, I got it from MBK. Uh, it was around I think 350 baht or 300 baht. But the next two pairs I'm gonna show you guys are um, of very very similar stuff. They may even look alike if you don't scrutinize closely. But here they are. And this is a pair of tortoise shell de the design and this is a pink, pinkish or purpley. I'm not too sure what colour it is right now because in the lighting that I have right now it looks purpley to me. But it's, it's just a very nice colour and they were 49 baht and we got it at um, a bazaar right outside of Platinum Mall. I just felt that they would be pretty good to add on to my collection and for future shoots. The next three pairs I'm going to show you guys are head eye glasses and I really wanted to get a pair for a very very long time now because I feel that cat eye glasses, right, they are just very very badass like when you just put on a simple outfit and you put on a pair of cat eye glasses it instantly just glams up the look and give you like this really cool vibe about it. So I got a pair in black uh, I have one in the same tortoise shell design but I thought this is a pair of lighter ones and you can almost see like the uh, reddish brownish tint to it and because I really like the shape right, I decided to uh, make the red pair into a pair of prescription specs because I needed a change so this is how it look like on me I'm still not sure or not sure and I'm kind of not used to how it looks like on my face I feel it kind of like blocks out my brows that I just got done I think I just need some like getting used to because it still feel a bit weird for me right now I still like them better as sunglasses though These were 90 baht and um, I got it at a night market I'm gonna show you guys some uh, necklaces that I've got The first one I'm gonna show you guys is uh, my favourite it looks like this and it was 245 baht. Uh, you can find this at Platinum Mall. Um, what I really like about it is that it is not exactly common. I haven't seen these um, I haven't seen this design too much while I was walking around Platinum Mall. It is a simple gold chain with this little bobble on it. And because this was a wholesale piece, I got them in the black as well. The next piece I'm going to show you guys is something from Zilot and I've gotten stuff from Zilot before on my first Bangkok trip last year and uh, Zilot is just this really quirky little store with a lot of handmade very very creative products of course they are a bit intense for my liking right now last year I would have just loved the entire store but right now my style has changed so uh, I kind of settle for the less uh, in your face items so I got these two I got these two bracelets uh, while at the store as well because I didn't want to miss out on the opportunity. I didn't want to miss out on the opportunity like that and um, the store owner, she was very very nice. She has a very quirky sense of style. So if you go to Platinum Mall, please do visit um, Zilot, the Zilot store. It's just a very small little booth. This one is in a measuring tape design and this is just a tartan or a plate print. 
with uh, silver studdings. All three pieces are about 200 baht each. Next item is a bag that I got. It's just a very simple daily bag that I can just bring out and bring out. I can just put a couple of things in like a wallet and my phone in and I'll be able to just bring it out like that. I am very aware that it looks like a Chanel bag design but as you can see, the price you pay is kind of the quality that you get in this case, in my case. So the, the latch thing here it's kind of loose right now and uh, I just used it for a couple of days and it is loose but and these were around I think 300 baht I've seen a lot of these uh, walking around Platinum Mall so you wouldn't have any trouble finding it the next little bag is something kind of unusual for me because uh, it is very colorful and very kiddie like kiddish like this is a silicone circle shaped bag with a uh, yellow zipper detailing over here and i got it in hot pink and i got my friend one in a lighter shade of pink i just found it really really cute to pair it with an outfit which is all black or just really really dark and just put on a very cute and fun bag like that i just think it's a very quirky touch this one's too expensive, but I kind of forgot the price. It's made out of silicone, uh, as you can see. I just think it's very adorable. I think we can move on to um, tops. So, first one I'm going to show you guys. I think you guys have seen this in on a lot of like bloggers and on Tumblr, places like that. This is a Zara inspired top, probably inspired by a Balenciaga piece. And um, but I just really like the details. Uh, it is very nicely tailored over here. It has like a it has a pretty different kind of uh, sleeve detail over here. It is cropped, of course, and it's just a bit loose when you wear it. Just thought I, it would be a very good piece to add on to my crop tops collection, and also it is very easy to just put this into an outfit. This is the second piece. Um, it is a very simple vest tank. So it has this really low like V dip back over here plus a piece of thin fabric holding it together over here. What really attracted me to buy this shirt was definitely this piece because I've been really really digging just um, just plain tops with a um, piece of fabric just hanging um, at very very random places. So I haven't exactly found a word to describe that trend yet but I definitely think it's getting bigger and bigger. The third piece is also a simple um, top. It is not cropped this time round, so it just goes down like this. And I do hope that it was a bit narrower, so it creates like a pretty unique kind of feel. But I got them anyway because I just thought that it would also be very easy to put into different outfits for Polly next year. Next piece. It's a grey crop top and um, nothing much to say about it. I just need a grey crop top and I have one in white over here that I'm wearing it right now. Uh, just the same design and... Uh, I would prefer if the cro if the neckline was a bit higher, so once again it creates like a very unique feel to it. Something that I've been trying to find, um, crop tops with just really high necklines. Okay, this piece is a very simple jersey tank. It says Brooklyn over here and it's a very weird plant. Um, I haven't really scrutinized into the details of this into the details of the graphic prints over here but I just really like it because it's a very light piece very easy to just um, slip on and even to just layer on with different uh, things inside so it has a very low neckline which is something that I do not really like so I'll be able to just put on a crop top with a high neckline and it will look very different so this is something that I really like and it wasn't too expensive uh, 250 but I guess and it's from this store called the Sky Room has this like perforated uh, detail similar to a sports jersey it's like that on the back I just thought it looks really really cool from the same store I also got this uh, this knitted slip on dress with a rather large armhole the downside to this piece is that the neckline is so awkwardly high although I like high necklines but this is just a bit awkward what I really like about it is first of all its length I just feel that it just drapes just above my knee and also it has like a little hoodie so it gives us like this really cool and like dark vibe about it. Next up, 
I have this piece which I really really love. It is a piece from a little boutique called uh, Anita Chen. Can be found at Platinum Mall as well. It is a very simple piece. Uh, it has a pretty high neckline for a uh, tank like that and a very very large armhole over here. Um, as I've said before, I really like large armholes. So so to show off like little bralettes inside. And I'm gonna show you a bralette that I got it on. So. This piece, I just think it is very very versatile and from the same store, I also got this. This is a belt and it's made up of kind of like a PVC plasticky kind of material. And this is to put at the front and what you do is that you can tie a little ribbon back at the front or if you don't like a ribbon, you can tie like a knot and just cinches the waist and gives more interest to an outfit and especially since I've been wearing a lot of black, so um, something like that would just sort of it just kind of like brings up an outfit even more. Next piece over here, I got it from another boutique which is very near the Anita Chen um, store. It is called 444 and F-O-R-E-4 and it reminds me a lot of my cheap Monday uh, slit tee. Pretty long like hem or train at the back and at the front it is shorter and the only thing it's missing is um, the side slits and this were a lot cheaper. Uh, I think they were around three or four hundred but but what I really like about it is that it, it is kind of drapey and also uh, the neckline isn't too low for my liking the fabric is kind of like this like striped and uh, opaque and sheer details can you see my hand right <laughs> So this is a very simple piece but um, what makes it uh, more interesting is definitely this train at the back next item I'm gonna show you guys it comes in a set like that this is like a little sweater, I wouldn't call it a pullover because it is far too tight and uh, it is far too tight to be a pullover. Its base is black and then it has this binoculars printing over it. Just thought it was very cute but I will admit that this was like an impulsive buy because uh, I would prefer my um, sweater or pullovers to be a bit larger. So. This is a bit too tight for my liking. The pencil skirt though, it fits very nicely. It is pretty, pretty short. The next piece I'm going to show you guys is something that was surprisingly cheap. It can be found at Platinum Mall as well. Um, it was around 200 or 300 baht. And for like a bomber, it's a bomber, crop bomber jacket like that, I feel that it was a pretty good price. Um, it is quite thick. Um, pretty good material. I really like jackets with sleeves uh, that ends like that. I think it's pretty nice. And we have the same details over at the collar over here. Just zips up like that. It's cropped. Next piece, it is a dress and it this dress kind of has a weight to it. This detail over at the uh, uh, neckline area. I found it kind of cool and um, what I do not like about it is that um, the dress it just flows down straight downwards. There's no, um, there's no like, sh there's no shape to it. It is not um, fitted properly, and it is not exactly flowy in a proper way. So maybe what I'll do with this piece is either to um, put the belt that I have over here just to like cinch the waist to give it a bit more shape, or I'll just cut it off and use it as a top. Alright, so the next piece is something pretty special to me. Uh, I've never gotten a piece of jumpsuit before, so uh, I saw these on a mannequin and it looked pretty fabulous on her, so I thought that um, I should get it too. So I went into the store and I got this piece. I uh, didn't have the ones in black, so this is a navy one. I really like the high neckline over here. And at the back, what's special about it is that it has a, uh, a bare back and it is tied together with these pieces of fabric. You just tie it together into like a little ribbon and it shows off a bit of skin, not too much skin and the rest of it is pretty well covered up and I feel that it gives like a very elegant look. We pair it with like proper heels. Let's cuff up the sleeves a little, put on a pair of oversized glasses. It will give off like a very cool vibe. It 
this is the bralette that I was talking about. It from the front just looks like a very simple bra cover up and it has a little padding over here. Um, so normally I just wear it on its own. Posted a picture on Instagram and I said that it was one of my favorite finds as of like I think day one. And they're still one of my favorite finds um, because of like the cage details over here. It has this elastic band details which I really really like and so at the sides you'll be able to see this design and even if this part was stretched you can still see like the two little lines Okay, we can finally move on to um, bottoms right now. I've just been really digging like full pants look uh, trousers and um, as compared to like shorts and skirts. So this is what I got. Um, the first two pieces aren't too special. I just got them because they're very comfortable and I needed to get the next piece. I'm going to show you guys. So uh, this is one in uh, the mask print, black and white. And I got these only because I just felt that... Uh, not only was it comfortable, it has this uh, pieces of fabric tied into a little ribbon. It just uh, it looks pretty um, well put together, and I felt that it would be pretty easy to put together an outfit on a like a lazy day or when I'm, I'm rushing late or just you know like lounging around at home. And I got one in dark blue and uh, white printing. This kind of reminds me of like China porcelain products, but. Uh, Yep, they weren't exactly my favourite pieces, but they are one of the most comfortable pieces. So this is how it looks like. It is pretty high-waisted and um, it has a lot of like gathered fabric over here, which is something that I really like. Once again, it has this like two pieces of fabric uh, at the sides, which can be tied to the front into a little ribbon. I do prefer if it wasn't a ribbon because a ribbon is like uh, tying a ribbon, uh, especially at the front, and it's so huge in your face, like this crotch area. It is kind of too girly for me. But um, anyway, I'll try to find like ways where I can tie this instead of having it at the front. And what I'll do with the bottoms is just cuff it up and uh, put on a pair of boots and we're ready to go. Next pair of trousers, I've already worn it out like I think twice. Uh, I really love it. The material is uh, pretty soft. It is grey in colour and this is how it looks like. Once again, it has this like spring waistline over here. And I'll just show you like the fabric up close. Over at the back, it has two fake pockets. But thank goodness it has two real pockets in front because I really can't stand, you know, uh, bottoms without pockets because where would I put my hands then? What I like to do with trousers like that because uh, they look quite enough prim and proper and that's just not how I like my outfits to be like. So what I'll do is that I just have like the ends into my boots and on the other leg I will just cuff it up to probably mid uh midway through my shins so it creates like a very awkward shape. Different lengths and it creates this really like messy kind of feel and that's just like how I like it to be. So the next three pieces are some um the next three pieces are kind of like my favorite finds out of all the things that I've gotten and I've shown you guys. So uh this is something from um 44 as well. And they have pretty interesting pieces. So if you do go to Platinum Mall, check them out. 44 is at I think it's at Zone 2's basement level. Okay, so this is how it's tailored. It has like this gathered waistband again. And this is how it's tailored. Uh, it goes down like this, but then it has this angle and a little pointy thing at the sides over here. At the back, it has this uh, two little pockets which are really, really low. And I just thought that the shape was really cool. It's a pretty unique piece. I got it for about 40 SGD. It uh, wasn't exactly cheap, but I just feel that for the design and the quality, um, some, it is something pretty different. And it kind of reminds me of our local designer depression. So I think that it is pretty good price to pay for something that is as unique as this. Next piece is a midi skirt. It is a circle midi skirt and midi skirts are definitely coming to trend. What I really really like about this is that it, it is weighted. Uh, I know that some people they do not like uh, garments that are weighted because it just like weighs them down and feels pretty uncomfortable but, but to me I really like it and uh, it's because of the weight that is able to drape down very nicely 
uh, there's only one size. I'm very lucky for it to be able to fit perfectly on my waist area. It just drapes down a line sheet. This is the fabric up close and uh, I was told that this is ostrich skin design. But I just really like the texture. So I'll definitely be wearing this very soon. The last item I'm gonna show you guys would be this. And it's kind of similar to the one that I've shown you before, but the fabric is not exactly the same. Um, so I'll just show you guys. It has these little triangles, they are puffed up. I got these at Tian Square and it was less than 40 bucks. So this is a very, very good one. And it has a zipper right down the back. And I'm planning to wear it during Chinese New Year next year, uh, which will happen pretty quickly, about in a month's time, January, late January. So uh, that's all I have for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this haul and I will see you guys soon.